escape to a world we don't know. Escape into the great unknown. Escape. Hello everyone and welcome to Painting Miniatures. Today we are tackling Lilith, the Firehawk. She was super, super fun to paint. She came out amazing. I love it. Uh, moving forward, there's one thing I know a lot of painters talk about is the mold lines for the miniatures. You're supposed to trim down the mold lines, whether it be with a, a file or most notably a X-Acto knife. Uh, it's an optional step, but the mold lines on Lilith, like I didn't realize it, but it after it's painted, after Lilith is completely painted, you can see the mold lines really, really bad and they almost ruin it for, and, and, and it sucks. Like I hate it. So that's definitely something I need to be more aware of when I paint these figures is I definitely need to look at the mold lines because uh, when I did Claptrap, Claptrap didn't really have any noticeable mold lines. Even when he was finished painting, he looks fine. Uh, Moxie was a little bit. Moxie had a little bit of mold lines, but it, again, it wasn't too bad. But Lilith really shows up. I don't know if it's because of the, the colors I used for her or what but the mold lines on Lilith came out really bad so I definitely need to use an exacto knife and trim it down so I'm gonna have to do that moving forward uh, another thing is I am super excited because I, I have some awesome ideas for the channel it's not gonna be just me painting miniatures I want to take it to the extreme and I'm gonna take painting miniatures to a whole nother level so you're going to see, we're going to have a whole segment, a whole playlist of some crazy videos of me painting miniatures, doing some, some crazy different things that you've never seen before. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and join me so you don't miss a channel, so you don't miss a video, <laughs> and hit that like button. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Because we're painting miniatures, we're not just going to hit the like button. I want you to get out your paintbrush. Get some paint on that paintbrush, and I want you to stroke the like button with your paintbrush. That is right. For the like. <laughs> uh, also, leave a comment down below, leaving me something positive, some positive words. So right now I'm doing the the skin came out really good. I gave her youthful skin. Ah, uh, the brown. Oh my god, the brown is gonna be the death of me. I hate putting brown on, and and I don't know if it's the Reaper paints or if all browns are like this. But anytime I try and paint brown on one of these miniatures. It just the, the coverage is absolutely terrible. It it takes like 25 coats it feels like. It feels like I got to keep going over and over and over it just to get it to like be solid. So, I don't know if it's the paint or if it's all browns. So, when I get some money, I'm going to buy some other browns, some other paints from uh I think there was P3 was a was a really good one, and there's uh, Vallejo or Vallejo is another good one that I, I heard about. So I'm gonna get some of those. I'm gonna get like brown colors for those, and see if those have better coverage because these Reaper Bone, the Reaper, the MSP Reaper uh, paint brown is is terrible. It, it's just it doesn't cover at all. So I put brown for her jacket, her pants. We gave her youthful flesh, and right now I'm doing the silver. I gave her some silver uh, for her boots, and it, it was pretty good. It came out. It wasn't too bad. She did not have as much detail as Moxie. Uh, she was kind of more like like the spots were bigger to paint her, as where Moxie had very, very tiny little spots. Like Moxie had her buttons, and Moxie had the feathers, and Moxie had all these tiny little details that you had to like get in there with a very 
fine detail brush. Lilith wasn't bad at all. Lilith had big, Lilith had details, but she had like big parts that were different colors, you know, like her armor, uh, her belt buckle, the little plate on her back, her hair, her orange and red yellow hair, which, which came out really cool. I ch first time I ever tried the blend, I tried, uh, I used like a red and orange and a yellow and I base coated her head, her hair in red. And then I did a, a little bit of orange and a little bit of yellow and I kind of mixed the orange and red for the tips. And then I highlighted it at the, at the very, very tip with uh, yellow. So to give her that fire hawk look and it looks really, really cool. Um, I love painting this though. And then, uh, here we go. This was the green that I used for her jacket. Their jacket pops. I mean, it P O P S pops this green. It looks so good. And what we're doing with this, uh, whole borderlands characters is we really want to go for that, uh, set. It's called like some people refer to it as like the Borderlands style or the Borderlands art style. And it's known as a uh, cell shading, which is where it's that. If you lo ever look at the characters, they have a lot of black uh, details to them, a lot of black highlights. And that's what I've been trying to go with as the theme for painting all these Borderlands 3 miniatures. I'm definitely trying to give it that uh, cell shading. So that's why in a lot of these videos, you're going to see me often use the black wash or the Citadel Nolan Oil shade. And what I'm trying to do with that is I really want to have the miniatures have that cell shade. So I want to have them hard, dark, like black cuts throughout the uh, miniature to really give it that depth as to make it almost look real, right? I I'm trying to make these characters, trying to make the paintings look as real to the actual video game artwork as possible and i mean for me just being a beginner it's not it's not perfect but i think it's pretty good this is my third miniature ever painted and i, I just love the green the green is so good on this it's it's really bright when i first painted it on uh but after it dries it actually like dulls out a little bit and what I did was I took the black wash and right underneath her breasts is like there's this little crevice and I put the black wash right there and it came out really good. It gives it it gives her shirt like really, really good dark shadow. And then I went ahead and I took a green wash and I threw a little bit of green wash on it. It didn't really the green wash didn't really do anything. I thought maybe the green wash would make it like a little bit different, like bring out some more of the gr the green or give it a different shade but it really didn't it's mostly just green and then with the black it, it made it a little bit darker but it gave it great it gave it great shading around her like breast area right where that like crease in her shirt is it looks really really good i love it um what else oh the next vi the next video uh, I'm not sure when the next video is for the Borderlands series is going to be out. I just started uh, painting Ellie. I primed her, so we're going to start painting Ellie, and that video will probably be up in uh, probably a couple days. I'm definitely going to have... I'm going to try and get videos out as much as I can, but I'm guaranteeing that we will at least have one video a week. So there will definitely always be one video at least once a week. Hopefully more. Hopefully I can get like two videos out. Uh, but moving forward, like at least once a week, we're going to have this video where it's going to be like Painting Miniatures Extreme. And I actually changed the name to the channel. I changed the name to the channel to Painting Miniatures Extreme. And once a week, we're going to take Painting Miniatures literally to the extreme and we're gonna do something like completely different. We're gonna paint miniatures in some crazy spots. You're gonna see me painting miniatures outside in a blizzard. You're gonna see me painting miniatures uh, in the rain. You're gonna see me painting miniatures in a cemetery at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. challenge at a haunted place, painting a miniature. I mean, we're gonna do some crazy, crazy stuff that, uh, 
that you never seen before. We're gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do. I want to make this fun because I see a lot of people, and there's nothing wrong with this, but I see a lot of uh, a lot of YouTubers, and they do teachings. They teach you different things, and it's kind of them just sitting behind a camera and they're just you know painting and and that's it it's it's not that it's boring or anything it, it's very uh knowledgeable it teaches you a lot but for me being just a beginner i mean i could make a youtube channel where i would just basically be copying all the other people because I, everything i learned i learned from other youtubers right everything i learned i learned from watching their their videos so what am i going to do just uh copy their videos and just put my own spin on it like that's not fun to me so what i want to do is i want to take it to a whole nother level and i want to do some stuff that no one's el no one else has done before so that's why i'm going to try and make it as entertaining as possible so you may not learn anything from watching my videos but i will tell you this there's a lot of other great youtubers out there who will teach you about painting miniatures so I suggest you check them out. But what you will get from this channel and what you will get from me is laughs and crazy entertainment. I mean, like crazy, crazy entertainment, fun stuff. So that all in all on its own is worth subscribing. And if you guys would like to take it another step forward, I also have a Patreon the link is down below in the description box. We already have two patrons. Uh, Poison Ivy and Knock M. Thank you for your support. There's a lot of awesome tiers. I tried to make it as fun as possible. There's a dollar for shout outs and two dollars, three dollars. But then I have some uh, more expensive uh, tiers where it's like, I believe one is $15 and I will actually send you one of the miniatures that i paint on one of my youtube channels so it's almost like a commission kind of and it's a way for me to kind of give back to viewers and you know for you supporting me and believing in my channel and then there's another one where i think it's 30 dollars, and i paint a, a bigger miniature and you'll get like a bigger miniature that i paint on the channel sent to you so you will have to you have to uh give your address for me to ship it to you and then there's a $50 one where you will actually get one of the Borderlands 3 miniatures that I painted, which I think is really, really cool. And I know the, the prices may seem a little like expensive, but for the time that I spent and then the time to actually purchase these miniatures and then to actually me actually ship it to you, I'm not making really that much, but I thought it was a good idea to make it seem more fun and, and really give back and make it feel like you're actually getting something so this is it this is right here lilith came out amazing i put the black wash on her look at that as you can see the black wash gave her really really great cell shading i'm putting the flesh the flesh shade on right now to give her a little bit of a tan look so she doesn't look too pale the youthful flesh the youthful flesh paint is pretty good but the the uh the flesh tone shade the wash it gives it a little bit of more like orangey like it, it gives it a little bit of a darker color because i i don't know it, it's not that it's it looks pale but it just looks so much better with the wash it just looks so much better with the wash it looks more lifelike but i love the way the shading came out with the black wash it came out so good in her hair it got the little crevices in her hair the back of her armor plates, the top of her shoulder armor plate, the the black wash, it creeped in perfectly in the little detailed holes. So you can really see that black in the silver. It, the black in the silver really like it looks so good. And then I also uh, after I did the black wash and uh, the the flesh shade, the the flesh wash, I hit it with a light dry brush of like a silver, and I dry brushed her belt. And it came, and th that was such a good idea. I uh, after I dry brushed her belt, it made it, it made the uh, the little tiny details in her belt really stand out from that black. Because I painted the the belt black, so then you see like a dry brushing of like a silver, and it really brings out the little belt buckles 
uh, the little loops and everything in her belt. It looks so much better. And her shoes, too. Because I did her shoes black, I hit it with a light uh, gray silver dry brush. And it really brings out the details in her boots. So it looks, it looks so, so good. I love the way she came out. I'm super excited to do Ellie next. Because she's got, she's got so many details. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Guys and girls. And aliens and cats and dogs and whoever's watching. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button with your wet paintbrush. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.